everyone, welcome back to Marketplace Fresh TV. Today we'll be talking about hydration for junior footballers. Um, and the most important thing about hydration is having a plan. Um, you know, uh, I work with a lot of athletes, elite and uh, recreation, and if they don't have a plan, they can kind of leave it to chance and can run into trouble. And hydration is a really, really important part of performing well um, in sport and especially um, in football. So um, there's lots of uh, uh, tips out there and lots of recommendations, but for junior uh, players, um, the two main fluids that are recommended are water and milk. Um, water is best um, before a game and during a game and after a game um, and say at breakfast time or your meal before playing, uh, milk can contribute, so obviously contributes some protein and some calcium and other nutrients, but it's a great hydrate as well because it's a fluid. Um, and then we've got some um, products here that um, will help with uh, after the game because they also have some carbohydrate to help with recovery, but we'll talk about that um, a little bit later. So again, as I said before, you need to have a plan. Um, it's important to understand whether you're a sweater or not. Some kids sweat more than others. How much you drink uh, depends on, on this depends on the weather as well so planning is uh, going to take into account what the weather is like on, on the day now I know most junior footy happens in the winter but um, the early games in April can be on warm days so you just need to be prepared something that can help is making sure the drink uh, is really cool so it can be ice cold or can just be fridge cold and that will help prevent heat stress which um, can really uh, interfere with uh, how you feel and playing and the other thing about hydration is that Maybe a lot of people don't know, but we're something like 60% of our body is fluid uh, and we can lose a little bit and still be okay, but we can't really lose more than 2% of our body weight. And that's why you need to make sure that you are um, refueling and, and putting the fluid back in and preparing especially on, on warm days. Um, so remember to take your drink bottle, it's really, really important. And especially in COVID, um, with COVID protocols, so you wanna have your own drink bottle, don't share it with anybody. Uh, make sure you put the drink that you want in there or just make those people aware that might give you uh, your bottle at half time or on the ground. So it's really important to have, have your own and just to be COVID safe around those practices. So, um, so just to reiterate, have a plan, understand what the weather's gonna be like, understand what kind of sweater you are. Some kids sweat more than others. Um, and sipping small amounts um, throughout the day, or throughout the game is better than drinking a whole lot. So if you sort of scull a whole glass of milk, for example, you're more than likely to want to go to the toilet, <laughs> which is not great. Um, and, or it can upset your gut. So you just want to make sure you sip small amounts. And it's about um, 100 to 200 mil, which is about half a glass to a glass every 15 minutes in a game. But it really depends. Um, it's very individual. So you kind of need to learn and practice maybe during training times rather than waiting to, to game time. So, um, and just to go back to maybe post game, uh, I usually recommend milk. Milk's like a great drink for post game, helps with recovery, helps um, recover your muscles, puts in a little bit of carbohydrate to uh, recover your fuel. Um, and believe it or not, chocolate milk's a, a popular choice, uh, even with my um, uh, footballers, I find chocolate milk uh, tastes nice. And that's the other thing is after a game, you want it to taste nice um, as well as you know be good for you. Um, so just some low fat, um, chocolate milk and up and goes a favorite of mine because it it's, uh, doesn't have a lot of sugar in it it's got some um, cereal in it coming from something like wheat bix um, and great for post game recovery so you've got the carbohydrate you've got a little bit of protein you've got the fluid so it's perfect and it's easy to drink when you finish playing a game of football so i hope you enjoyed those tips today um, and good luck with the season